BTS. I show him host Christopher. J- uh, uh, uh-uh. one second, cause we not doing this. Give me one second. Much better. Let's continue. Welcome to the BTS I Show. I'm yours, Christopher J. What are we talking about uh, this week? Actually, I don't think I've ever done this in the four or five years I've been doing this. I have not done this one time. I never gave a proper introduction on who I am. I don't believe I have. Between here and the website, which will be returning soon, don't think I've done that. So let me say this. Chris, the J in Christopher J stands for my middle name, Joseph, which means Jehovah Increase. What's my last name? Some people do know. Mostly I don't. We'll just keep it that way. I was born and raised in Houston, Texas. November 30th, 1987 was my birth year. So that means at the end of the month is my birthday. Uh, I'm not asking for uh, much, but there is a cash app um, links somewhere in the bio. Just throwing that out there. Or, no monies, if you can give me a size 14 and Jordan 9s, I appreciate that. That's my uh, weakness is Jordan 9s. Everything else is cool, but Jordan 9s, that's with me all day. Like I said, born and raised in Houston, Southwest, a to be exact. Uh, my father is from Nigeria. My mother, I said my mother's from Disney World, so now she's from the Orlando, Florida area, assuming. Uh, grew up as a middle child. Had an older brother who was who grew up to be like six, seven, six, eight. Uh, my younger brother Alex, um, autism. Uh, don't feel sorry for him. Don't feel sorry for us. It was a blessing. Uh, great young man. And I also have a little sister. Get on my last goddamn nerves. But love her to death. Uh. Probably one of the strongest or the strongest woman in my uh, family. She went through uh, sarcoma. She was, glory to God, she was able to get out of that. She's going to have kidney surgery soon. My dad uh, will donate his kidney to her. And yeah, man, that's uh, that's my uh, family right there. A bunch of strong individuals. I just happen to be the redhead stepchild. Like I said, don't feel sorry for me. It led me to who I am to today. Uh, went to mad universities. Graduated from um, Hastings High School in 2007. Um, went to TSU. Then I eventually went to HCC. Then I went to U of H for one year. Back to HCC. Came back to TSU. There was with the fuck shit. And uh, now I'm at University of Phoenix. This is my last run in college. After this, I'm good. I could only, my uh, anxiety and panic attacks could only handle so much when it comes to school. But do, between those years of college, I went to go work at uh, Men's Warehouse. I met my wife up there. We now have a 19-month-year-old grown-ass man running around the house. One day, y'all see me in public. Y'all see how he looks like. That's why I say he's a grown-ass man. And, uh, yeah, man, life is life is good. Could be better. I'm grateful where I'm at right now because I know where I was at before. Um... Uh, Everything is better now. And it's going to continue to get better. Um, I will become a business owner real soon. Uh, my wife will be a business owner probably in a matter of days. And yeah, everything everything is cool, man. Everything is cool. And of course, for the simple fact, I am a, um open book. You guys can ask me any questions. I'll give you an answer, but be careful of the questions you ask. What do you mean? What do I mean by that? You see this right here? Black men don't cheat. Don't ask me no crazy questions. That's going to lead me down uh, the wrong pathway. Granted, I was spotted from a mile away, but yeah. 
That's all I ask. So if I want to flood my DMs, business only, if you have a product to offer, I'm willing to read um, your DMs, interact with you. Let's see, we'll get something done. All that flirty stuff, uh, women, black men don't cheat. Um, males of the LGBTQIA community or LGBT plus community, I have a preference. It's particularly my wife. That's my preference right there. So, now that y'all know a little bit about me, let's get on to the topic of today. When I first heard about this a couple of days ago with the Colin Kaepernick trial, this made no sense to me. Um, here's why I say that. Most NFL tryouts, probably all of them, are on Tuesdays. If this was on a Tuesday, I'd be a little bit more optimistic about it. This is on a Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, a football game is on Sunday. There's no coach. There's no GM going to stop what they're doing to go to a workout, a Saturday workout. So I believe this is only scouts that are coming. The coach and GM said, choose on a handful of scouts on the team and they'll send them out there to the workout. This makes absolutely no sense. What team, there is plenty of teams that I know that needs Colin Kaepernick. I'm talking about today, right now. Um, uh, Tampa Bay needs a quarterback because uh, Jamie Woodson is, is trash. Uh, I'm not too fond on the Chicago's uh, quarterback. The Titans need a quarterback. They got they bench uh, Marcus Mariota. He needed to be benched. He's, I don't know who drafted him or why, but Marcus Mariota needed to be benched on that. Um, I would say Washington needs a new quarterback, but truth be told, I'm still upset with Washington because – one of the players um, had a cancer growing inside the head, and they told the player, oh, it's no big deal, just play through it. So I wouldn't recommend that team. Uh, definitely New York Giants, because uh, y'all call him Danny Dimes, I call him Danny Two Nickels. What the hell kind of performance has he been putting on? That ain't it. And oh, trust me, we'll, we can be here all day. I can critique each quarterback. I'll tell you who needs... Who needs to leave? Connor Kaepernick should be a backup quarterback. He's definitely a backup quarterback. Starting, there's only a handful of teams I can think of that can start on. But here's the problem. Here's the thing with this. Now, Connor Kaepernick said he's been working out for, he's been in shape since his time off in the NFL. That's fine, being in shape. My problem is, look at your stats. I'm going to remain on the same point that I said a couple months back about Colin Kaepernick. The last the last two years, because let's go through the last three years of his contract. Um, yeah, this is the last three years of him playing in the NFL. Of the three, last three years, year one was the better one, was his best one, period. Then it went smoothly declined. Second year, he had to have some type of injury, in my opinion, because there's no reason for him to be playing like that. In his last year that we saw in San Francisco, I wish you was a better quarterback because that performance is garbage. There's number, numbers are not lying. And I don't even want to begin with the eye test. But I will say this. I hope he's ready. Because as of, what time is it? It's just barely past um, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time in Houston. There's teams pulling out of this workout for Saturday. And like I said, I don't know who's coming to a workout on a Saturday. Tuesday makes a lot of sense. Like, like Friday and Saturday, we're, they're trying to prepare a game for Sunday. So, I, like I said, I don't know who conjured up this idea. And I don't fault Colin, it, Colin Kaepernick for accepting the uh, workout that was set up by the NFL. Some said Jay-Z may have something to do with this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 
But uh, this, I'm just going to rem- sit back and watch this play out. Personally, I can care less if Colin Kaepernick get back in the NFL. Matter of fact, he's right now he is a bigger symbol, not in the NFL, in my opinion. And that's a good thing as far as Colin Kaepernick goes. But let's see. Let's see where this goes. Because like I said, this seems sloppy. Very sloppy. I almost don't trust it. So, now that I haven't done this in about over a year and a half, sitting on my couch, just talking, speaking my mind, not worrying about what other people got to say, or me being canceled. Oh, that's the next episode. We're going to talk about cancel culture. After my weekend recast that we're going to do on Monday, we'll get into uh, cancel culture. Oh, because I got a lot to say about that. Y'all, y'all, y'all just don't know. But other than that, people, I am Christopher J. Um, follow me on Instagram. Matter of fact, I'm swallowing my pride. I'm going to go follow me, mad people. Hopefully you follow back. Let's build an army. Let's talk. I will see you guys Monday. Peace out.